In Malaysia, during the pandemic, senior counselor Feng Yi Liang guides and accompanies citizens who lost their family members due to COVID-19. Looking back at the start of this epidemic, human greed and killings of animals have allowed the virus to thrive, bring a massive challenge to the public hygiene. Let's take a look. As of September 8th, 19,000 people passed away in Malaysia due to COVID-19. This number also presents the tens of thousands of families torn apart due to the loss of a family member. In Malaysia, senior counselor Feng Yi Leong discovered that the unfortunate has become a normality during the pandemic. This made him eagerly participate in online counseling lectures as he is now guiding and accompanying people who lost their family members due to COVID-19. I have to interact with 10 to 20 cases. For example, someone passed away. Someone passed away leaving their child alone. Someone is at another country, cannot come back to attend funerals. Some people's belief system is crushed by COVID. They don't know how to face the sudden death of family members. So to us, promoting life education, we teach people how to plan your death. The other half is to look at living through death. Therefore, we must know how to learn and how to live well. Facing the unfortunate cases, it's important to care for one another and accompany others in need. In Malaysia, during the pandemic, many people initiated rescue movements as these kind acts brought warmth to people in need. We don't care if you're Chinese, Malaysian or Indian, we're helping each other and actually we are blessed to do so. We have a feeling of sharing the same boat. If you look at other countries, they do not have enough masks or oxygen cylinders. They have to rob these items. This makes me feel sorrowful. SARS, MERS, and H1N1 can be transmitted through our greed to eat animals, since the virus on animals will come into contact with humans upon eating. If we adopt a vegetarian diet, we are immune to animal-transmitted diseases. If we adopt a plant-based diet and that becomes our major food source, we no longer have to come into contact with wild animals. These vegetables have phytochemicals that mainly inhibits oxidation. It also repairs our genes while improving our immune system. This not only reduces our pain, this also prevents further diseases. If we acknowledge that every life form on Earth should be respected, we have to change our eating habits in order to prevent the next major virus outbreak. Actually, if we solve COVID-19, later on we will still face new and different viruses. If we stop eating animals, we can prevent viruses from entering our bodies in the future.